Well, well, well. Mama Bloom's Brood. Sunday morning, and here are the Blooms, complete with Sidney and Arnold, on their way to the long-planned picnic. Are the baskets tied on tight? Sure, you could go around the world and those baskets would still be on there. You could go around the world. Shut the door and let's go. Papa, wait till I get in. Mama, you'll do me one favor. I know, I know. I shouldn't be our front seat driver. Someday when I get rich, I'm going to get you an extra horn. So that when somebody is crossing the street a half a mile away, you could push a horn yourself and not worry me. I got enough trouble driving. We should have free wheeling. Free wheeling is no good. How do you know? If it was any good, would they give it away? Well, they'll always start. Uh, give me mine pair, Google. Wait a minute, Jack. I'll exchange with you. Give me the yellow ones. Green I don't like. Take the yellow ones. The main thing is to get in the car. We got to hurry. Why do we got to hurry? It's our picnic, not an excursion. It's coming up a rain. Oh, it won't rain today. I saw it in the paper. Mm, well, maybe it won't rain in the paper, but I tell you here, it's going to rain. Now, how do you know, Pa? My corns bite me, and when my corns bite me, it comes a rain. But the weatherman says no. How can the weatherman tell if Papa's feet hurt? You don't understand, Mother. They work out the weather reports with maps and charts and things like that. Maps and charts, what do they know? Nobody can tell the weather like Papa's feet. For 22 years, this corn has never made a mistake. Well, maybe this time it's wrong. My corn bites me, and when my corn bites me, it comes a rain. Are you ready, Mama? I'm ready. <laughs> are the baskets tied on tight? The baskets are all right. Sidney tied them on himself. Mm hmm. Sidney. All right, come on, we'll start. Uh, be careful, Jake. In back of yours are taxi. I saw it. In front from yours are truck. How can I miss seeing a truck? <laughs> Becky, I'm asking you right now, before we start, who is driving the car? Jake. You are driving the car. All right, let me do the driving then. They think I want to get killed. Don't come in, All Jake. right, all right. Well, where would you like to go? Well, let's go over the Foot Street Bridge, huh? By that way's mountain. Well, we can go along the river. Oh, I hate that road. A nice way is through Bell Hill. Oh, there's nothing but cemeteries out there. But can cemeteries hurt you? Let's take the new road through Crestview Hill. What difference does it make? Wherever we start in the finish comes Ditto's. All right, which way am I going? Well, there's no use of me suggesting anything. You always find something wrong with any place I suggest. If you don't tell me, how can I go? Oh, I'll go any place. Jake, be careful, our streetcar. I saw it. Uh-huh. You want lawsuits, huh? You're so rich that you want to get lawyers and fight the streetcar company. Did I hit it? Didn't I tell you not to hit it? Even if you had told me not to hit it, I wouldn't have hit it. How do I know? Maybe you didn't see it. But I told you I saw it. Jake, you told me you saw it after I told you not to hit it. Why do I have to tell you that I saw it before you told me not to hit it? Every time we pass a streetcar, must I send you a postal car? Jake, be careful. A dog. Oh, don't hit a dog. It's bad luck. Uh, a streetcar's good luck, huh? Everybody is talking and nobody is telling me where to go. Go where you please, Jake. Is anybody stopping you? All right, you? all right. I'll go where I please. Are the baskets tied on tight? I told you, Sidney tied them on. Take a peep, huh? Tell Porter to stop and I'll look. I'll look over the back. Okay, there, there. Nothing to worry about. It's going to come up a rain. Jake, why didn't you say so before we started? We could have taken umbrellas. Nobody takes umbrellas to picnic. Uh, so if it's our picnic and it rains, you don't get wet. It's not going to rain. Then my corn bites me, comes up a rain. 
why are we stopping? I hear the buses are traffic, Jim. I told you not to come this way. But on Sunday, everywhere the traffic is thick. Hey, why don't you go alongside of that road, Pa? Sure, sure. It's the best place in the ditch. Do you think Papa's driving our submarine? I think you could take a chance, Mr. Bloom. Sure. Joe, with my car, he could take a chance. Oh, go ahead, Pa. Be a sport. Jake, you'll stay where you are. You want dancing defenses? Fenders, Ma. Fenders, fe whatever you call them, we don't want dancing them. Jake, you stay where you are. Who's moving? Now you can go ahead, Jake. But slow. Why don't you turn off here, huh? Which way? I turn left. Oh, right, Pa. Jake, for goodness sakes, be careful. You almost hit that car. That guy is a crazy driver. He shouldn't be allowed on the road. He should have his license renewed. Go ahead, Pa. You can't stand here. Which way? Which way? Take the next road left. I think it's right. Right or left? Tell me. But we should have his our road map. Make up your minds. Left or right? Right left. or left? Left. Right. Why don't you go straight ahead? Uh, I'll turn left. I'm sick of this undecided. Jake, blow your hand. Put out your hand, Mama. I got to hold on my Google. All right, all right. If nobody's got any hands left, then I'll turn right. Wait a minute, Mr. Bloom. I think this is a blind road. What's a blind road? I mean, I think it comes to an end here. I think we'll have to turn back. Not even a detour. I don't think so. There'll be a road. Now, if Sidney tells you it's a blind road, why don't you turn around? He knows what he's talking about. Sidney can be wrong, too. Stop, Jake. It's a fence. See, I told you. It's a blind road. Now you'll have to go back. Turn around, Jake. And be careful. I don't want you should go in the ditch. How can I drive with all this talking? Who's talking? I haven't said a word since we left the house. Quiet, I sit here like a deep and dummy. Jake, Jake, you're going back too far. Do you want me to turn the car around for you, Mr. Bloom? If you can turn around, I can turn around. Wipe off your face, Jake. It's running perspiration. How many hands have I got? Why did you wear a waist anyhow? Look, Sidney's got no waist. I am suddenly sick with Sidney. Pop, I'm surprised at you. Becky, Becky, you'll please move over a little. Give me a little more room. Room, you got it. Oh, this is a very narrow road to turn around. Who told me to go up this road? <laughs> Probably Sidney. <laughs> Pop is making jokes. I told you to go up the road, Jake. I thought it would take us through some beautiful detours. Well, where do I go now? You go straight ahead, Pop. Is a nice place? It's too close to the road, Mom. My corns are biting me. It's coming up a rain. Papa's right. Let's stop and heat. Here's a nice place. No. Sidney, you let Papa pick out the place, huh? Papa's very hexploit on pizza. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, here's a nice place. Here we stop. Yeah, yeah. Get the car off the road and we'll get up. Well, be huh? careful, Pa. Yetta, you shut up. From your mama, I gotta take it, but from you, it's something else. All right, get out, get out. Open the door for your mama. Okay. Jake, he's coming a man with a big dog. Well, let him come. Is it my pest? Listen, guy, you yeah. and that gang climb back in that washing machine and get that hack off my land before I turn this dog loose. Say, listen, are you talking to me? Yes, I'm talking to you. Beat it and make it snappy. I'll be back in five minutes, and if you're not gone, I'll throw you off. He's a oh. nice fellow. Oh, if I was ten years younger, I... But you want to fight with the man. Yeah, I should give him a smash in the face. Since when are you a smasher? Don't smash so quick. Maybe he'll smash back. That was all I could do to hold my temper. For two cents, I'd have gone right up yeah, to... Yeah, and for one cent, he'd have gone right up to you. Please don't fight with Sidney. <laughs> Jack, he's a nice place. Let's stop here. We'll have a nice lunch, then maybe we'll play games, baseball, push in the corner. Sally, uh, you'll get me the baskets, huh? Give me first the one with the tablecloths in the place. You want us to help? Sure, we'll help. Sally, take Sidney off someplace while I'm still feeling good. Sidney, you'll help me. Uh, Papa, you sit down quiet, huh? Soon we'll have a lovely lunch. <laughs> yes, and now bring me the other basket, yeah? Well, you got both the baskets, Ma. Darling, there's still another basket. No, there's only two here, Ma. No, there were three. I remember when I tied them on. Sidney, give it a look. All right. Say, she's right. There's only two. One of them got lost. Here's the broken piece of string where it was tied on. Our basket is lost. It couldn't be. She says it couldn't be, and it is. How can our basket become lost? How could our basket not become lost when Sidney ties it on? Don't blame Sidney. All right, all right. I'll blame the piece of string. Oh, it could happen to anybody. It could happen to anybody, but who does it happen to? I'll tell you. Sidney. Talking brings you no basket. Our basket is gone, so our basket is gone. Well, what was in the basket that fell off, huh? All the meats and the potato salad and the liver sausage and the salami. The salami is lost. Yeah, yeah. What have we got left then? We got pickles and chow chow and chocolate cake and salt and pepper and four kinds of bread, mustard and cupcakes. Mm -hmm. It's a fine picnic. All right, give me a cupcake with some mustard on it. Gee, folks, I'm sorry. Then it's all right. As long as you're sorry, we don't need the meat. 
But could you be a little extra sorry so we don't need the potato salad, too? Sydney. Yeah? You and Han will take Sally and Yetta for a walk, huh? Papa and I want to talk. All right, Mrs. Bloom. I'm sorry the whole thing happened. That's all right, darling. <laughs> take a walk. All right, come on, girls. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Sorry. Well, well, Mama, what did you want to say to me that you couldn't say while they were listening? Jake, sit down and wipe off your face. All right, so my face is wiped off. What do you want? Jake. Be a little nice to Sidney. Sidney is an A number one schlemiel. No, he ain't. Sidney's a nice fella with a good mind. If he's got a good mind, I'm a college professor. Jake, don't be a fool. He's in love with our Sarah. Oh, so does that make him lose baskets? Yeah, that makes him lose baskets. Don't you understand, Jake? When he's with us, he's so anxious that everything be all right that he does everything all wrong. Oh, then I was in love with you. I didn't do everything all wrong. Jake, you forget about your day. No, no, not Must me. Must I tell you again about the time you come over to our house? No, 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 no. Don't start with that, Mama. It's Don't start. It's the same with Sidney. He's trying so hard in front from Sarah, just like you were trying so hard in front from me. And if it was good enough for you, why couldn't it be good enough for Sidney? A young man in love, Jake, has got to be a fool. If he ain't a fool, then he ain't in love. I guess you're right. I never would have thought of it. Sure you would have thought of it. <laughs> Jake, you're a smart man. Yeah, you're right, Becky. I would have thought of, of it. Of course you <laughs> would. You're no fool. All right. Well, what do you want me to do? Look, then? darling, call him over here and make him welcome. Tell him it don't make no difference losing the basket. Offer him a cigar. But Mama ain't got no cigar. Offer him anyhow. Maybe he'll say no. All right. You call him. And you'll do it nice, Papa, please. As eh? long as I'm going to do it, <laughs> I'll do it nice. Yeah. Sydney. Sidney, come over here. You who, Sidney? Yes. Mrs. Bloom, I found the basket. Yes, it must have fallen off just as we came into the field. I certainly feel better now. Gee, I felt like an awful fool when I saw that basket was gone. That's all right, but a man who is in love. Papa, big fire. <laughs> yes, Mama. Sidney, will you have a cigar? No, thanks. I don't use them. You see, Papa, I told you. Uh, sit down, everybody. We'll have a nice picnic. Oh, I felt something on my head. Is it raining? Well, let's eat quick. It's coming up a big cloud. I felt a drop, too. I just oh. felt it myself. Come on, hurry up. Pick up everything. Put him back in the basket. Oh, maybe the shower will pass over. Can we sit here like fishes? Come on, hurry up. Oh, that's a shame. Just when everybody was having such a good time. Mine, child, that's how you'll find out how life is like. Never is anything perfect. And it's all right on this side, something's wrong on the other side. Then it's all right over there, it don't fit here. <laughs> I mean, it's got one leg longer, the other leg is shorter. Come on, Jake, start the car. Well, where will we have the picnic, then? The best place is the dining room. Where oh. will we put the baskets in back? No, put the baskets in the front with me and Mama. 